Hello everyone, this is Motion Grapher here and today in this video we are going to create this remote team video animation within After Effects. In this video you will learn how to create this hair animation, how to animate these leaves and how to animate this overall illustration. You need to download this file from freepick.com. I have given below timestamps in the video description so that you can move to the any part of this video. So without wasting any time, let's start the tutorial. After downloading this file from freepick.com, you have to open this file in Illustrator so that you can separate layers that you want to animate in After Effects. I have already given a lot of tutorials that how you can separate these layers in Illustrator. So I'm going to speed up this process. If you want to learn more in details, you can watch my previous tutorials. Okay, now you can see that we have separated the hair, we have separated the chair, girl, mug, these characters with its background, we have separated the monitor, we have separated the flower pot, it should be right above monitor layer, and we have separated the desk as well, also we have shadow hair and background layer as well. Now I'm going to save this file as edited AI. Now it's time to animate this file in After Effects. Drag the edited AI file in After Effects. Select the composition and press OK. Double click this edited composition. Now you can see all the layers that we have separated in Illustrator are visible here. But there is no white background on the back side. So I will create new solid. I will pick this color and press OK. Drag this background layer. And now it's time to animate. So I'm going to do simple scale up animation for all of these layers. So first of all, I will animate this chair. And then from that chair, this girl will be animated. After that, this table should be animated. And when this table animation is completed, this spot, mug and monitor animation should be done. So first of all, I'm going to select this chair. Make sure that you are on the first frame of this layer and then press S change the scale value to zero click on this keyframe icon I'm zooming in the timeline move this time indicator to around 10 frames change the scale value to 100 now if you preview it you will see we have done this scale animation to make it more smooth select both of these keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease it's smooth but I want it more smooth so I will select last keyframe select this icon the graph editor icon and then we have to drag this to the left side until you see this kind of shape there I'm closing this graph editor and then I'm going to preview it again cool it's looking good but as you can see it's coming up right from the center because our anchor point is to the center. So if you move the time indicator back, you can see the scaling up is coming up right from the center of this anchor point. But I want this chair to scale up from the floor. So what I will do, I will move the anchor point position to the bottom. So I will select this anchor point mover tool and then move this anchor point to the bottom. And now if you preview it, you will see that the chair is coming up right from the floor because the anchor point is moved up to the floor. If you think the animation is little fast, you can drag this to the 15th frame now it looks good okay now i'm going to copy this scale animation move this time indicator to the first frame and i'm going to parent this hair layer to the girl and then i'm going to paste the scale value that we have copied from this layer into this girl layer so you can use Control v or command v to paste the scale value i'm pressing s so that you can see that we have already pasted the scale value 
But you can see that the animation is coming from this point. But I want this girl to appear from the chair. So what I will do, I will change the anchor point position of the girl to the center of this chair. So I will select this girl layer, select this anchor point mover tool and then move this anchor point to the center of this chair. And now if you preview it, you will see that the girl is appearing from the chair. You can move this curl layer a little bit forward, maybe five frames forward, so that girl appear a little bit late than the chair. So first of all, chair animation will be done and little later the girl will appear. Okay, cool. Now what I will do, I will add the same scale animation to this table so make sure that you're the first frame select this desk and then copy the scale value and paste it on this desk as well i'm opening this scale layer and now if you preview it you can see that we have the desk animation as well drag this desk layer a little bit forward so that when the girl animation is almost completed the table should start coming up from here but as you can see the anchor point is not on the floor it's coming up from the center of this middle area so we have to drag this anchor point mover to the floor the shortcut key for the anchor point mover tool is y and then drag this anchor point to the bottom of this floor now preview it cool now when this table animation is going to complete we have to appear this pot mug and the monitor as well so i'm dragging this monitor flower pot characters and mug to the end of this table animation so when the table animation is completed i will start doing the animation for these all four layers make sure that you are on the first frame of all of these layers i'm selecting all of these layers and then pasting the scale value on these layers let's close all other layers select these four layers and press on s to see that we have already pasted the scale value on all of these four layers now you can see the scale animation is done but still the same issue, the anchor point is not to the position of this table. So for example, this bug should appear from the center or the point of the table. So I will drag the anchor point to the table. Same for flower pot. As you can see, it's coming from the center of this anchor point, but it should come right from the center or from the tip of this table. So I will move its anchor point to the tip of the table adjust its position a little bit and now we have to adjust the anchor point of this monitor as well preview it cool the character i'm going to move this layer a little bit forward so that when the monitor scale animation is almost completed the characters should appear from here. You can move the flower pot a little bit forward as well, maybe five frames or two frames. So we have some dynamics in the animation. So now we have completed all the scale animation. It's time to preview this. For me, to me, it's looking good. Now it's time to animate her hair so in order to animate her hair it's really simple and easy all you need to do is add few puppet points so i'm going to select this hair layer select this puppet point starting from her base of this tail or this hair i'm going to add one point on this base so you can see that the base is this one one point to the center and one point to the tail you have to follow the same sequence that i have shown you here otherwise the animation will not look good okay now you have to remove the keyframe for this base pin as this base pin should not move when we are animating so go into the puppet select this puppet tool go into mesh and deform you can see the puppet one is our base so remove this position keyframe from this puppet pin one i'm going to close this layer i'm going to select this layer go into the file scripts run script file 
and this script is already given in the video description you can download this script and then open this script simply select the puppet pins and click on run now if you preview it you will see that we have beautiful hair animation done if you want to increase or decrease its speed simply select your hair layer go into the effects and control here and change the amplitude value so if i change the amplitude value to 10 now you will see that the hair animation is faster now but to me 5 is looking good so yeah it's looking good now you can see that we have done the hair animation it's time to do the flower and pot animation as well select this flower pot and then add few puppet pin points in the same way we will add few base puppet pin points then i will add few puppet pin points for these leaves now press u on flower pot and now you can see that we have opened the puppet pin point positions select this puppet tool and then you can select the base puppet pin points so that you can remove its position keyframe this base also need to be removed this is also base you have to remove this puppet position so the simple concept is that anything that you do not want to move it should not be keyframed here on this flower pot we only want to animate the leaves so only the leaves puppet pin point should be keyframed here and other puppet pin points should not be keyframed now after doing that i'm going to select this flower pot file script run script file and run the same script that we have run before now if you preview it you will see we have the leaf animation as well but it's not looking good so i will reduce the amplitude value to 2 so we have little bit leaves animation as well here yes it's looking good to me you can play around with the puppet pinpoints and then you can have a different result here as well I've already given one more tutorial on the leaf animation that I'm going to put here on the top right side so that you can see that tutorial as well. So this is all from today. If you are a Patreon member, you can download the edited AI file and this template for your education purpose only. And I will see you guys in next week.